in a section of two arrays. Are you ready for some next section? Right. Okay. Um, all right. In a section of two arrays, let's get started. Start. Now, given two arrays, write a function to compute their intersection. Okay. So we all have we have one, two, two, one, and then we have two, two, and the output is two, two. So two and two is the intersection of array one and array two. Now, same thing to number two example, four, nine, two, no, four, nine, five, and nine, four, nine, eight, four, and an intersection, <laughs> excuse me, is four, nine. So it could be this nine or this nine. The order is like, like this says, the order does not matter, okay? And each element in the result should appear as many, excuse me, I need some order. as many times as it shows in both arrays, like this one, okay? So now, the naive solution we can think of right now, I can think of right now, is we can start from every single number. For every single number, we're going through the other array to see if there is a match with this number. For example, we go from one, and we'll go through the second array to see if there's a, t if there's a one, no. Going to two, if there's going to the second array, okay, there is a two. All right. Well, put this into. Well, put this into the result. All right. Uh, we can. The result can be a linked list. Could be something else. We don't care. So we see a two. We'll put it into a result. Now two. Go through the list again. Well, yes, there is a match. Well, I think it, after we need to create a list, convert this to a list. If there's a match, we'll get rid of this element. Right, so we'll go go over. Anyways, we'll go over this list again and see. Okay, there is another two. Now, the problem is. Now the problem is, the time complexity is not very user friendly, which is m times n. Right, so you have for every single number in this array, you have to go through the in the other same uh, array again. So we'll have. Brew force. Let's say brew force, right? So the time complexity is n times n, which is the sizes, the sizes of the two arrays. And the space complexity is you need to use a list because for me. Well, in order to keep track of the frequencies, you need you can't do a you can't use the original array. You have to use a linked list to pop some elements out once they are matched. Um, so the space complexity it's going to be big O of um, n or n. Now, can we do better? So now let's take a look at this. We the point is, we need to look up for every number in the second array. We need to look up if there is corresponding match in the first array. Now, look up. What triggers you? Hash map. So we can use each number as a key. Now, let's say in the first array, we can use each number in the in the first array as keys, and then the frequency right as the values all right and then we we will go we, we we are using this uh, table or a lookup map to go through this array and once there is a corresponding match corresponding number if say 2 is in this hash map we will decrease the frequency by 1 so if the frequency is Zero or so. First of all, we don't. If we don't find this number in the table, we skip. If the frequency is equal to zero, we skip again. Okay, we only put this number into the result list or result set, whatever. Once the frequency of the current number is greater than zero. Okay, so. 
we're going to use the hash map solution. The time complexity is n plus n, right? Now, well, actually, time n plus n and space is actually depends on which one you use. The minimum is n, all right? Or let's say m. Okay, so this one hash map solution is definitely way better, faster than the brute force stupid solution. I was gonna say stupid iPhone 4 solution, but let's just, I don't want to attack Apple. Sorry, Apple. <clears throat> uh, all right, let's get started. How much time have we left? And we have nine minutes should be enough. So let's start by initiating a map. So we know integer, and then we have integer as type. Then we have a map. We'll create the new instance, which is the hash map. And then we have integer, and then integer. And we have something to put the result, right? So in this case, I'll use a Q. Now, the reason why is this is already my habit because sometimes in Lee code, they want them to return some weird type. In this case, it is the int array. Now, this one. Uh, it's hard. It's going to be hard to convert it from a linked list to uh, integer array. So, because you have to use the indices. Now, I'll show you later. Okay. Now, first step is we're going through every single number in the first array, and then we are going to put something in it. What it is, which is the key, is which is the current number, and then, and then we'll put the frequency of this number, which is we're going to get from the map. Now, what if the number does not exist in the map? Then we will return zero, okay? And then after return, after getting the frequency of the number, we will increase by one, okay? Perfect. Now, second half, we, after we have populated the map, it's time for us to check the results. So if map now contains this key, which is a match in the hash map, well, and don't forget, just having that key is not enough because this current array, this second array, could have more, let's say, more threes than the first array has. So we'll have map get this number, and then if get this, the frequency is larger than zero, then what we're gonna do is, <coughs> we, first of all, we will Put this. We can offer offer because offer will return an exception. If you use add, it won't return an exception. So it will return an exception. I'm sorry. Offer and pull will return an exception. I think so. Yeah. So anyways, Q offer will have the current number and then. Map, we also need to update the map, and then we'll put map on a number, and then the map get the current number. We're gonna get the frequency of this number, and then minus one. Okay, so now, we are done with the algorithm. We what we need to do now is the uh, converting part for the result and how much time we have okay so for now first of all it's a array so we need an index so for 
Well, I'm sorry, my bad. So while Q size is no well, size is not equal to zero, or I like to say is empty. Now, before we continue with the queue, we need to initialize a int array, which is something to put a result in. Now, how long, how big of a size should this array be? It's going to be the size of this queue. Okay, now, while this is not empty, now result i is equal to Q dot pole, right? We're gonna pop the first element. So the operation, the, 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 the time complexity of this operation is constant time because we just pop the first item. Now we're missing something here because we are not increasing the i. So add, and then after this, we'll have return the results. All right. So this should be good. Now let's take a. Uh, if we do have time to have three minutes. So. Let's take a look at the 495 and then, okay, so we have 495 and then we have um, uh, 94894, 9489, 94894. Nine, nine, okay, so by using this method, we first of all, we will create a map and then the map will have four, which, and the frequency is four, one. Okay, one, frequency is one, and then we have a nine, which is one, and then we'll have um, five, and then we have one. And then we will go through, this is the map, and we'll go through, this, actually, do we have time? Three minutes, okay. Three minutes, okay, nine, okay, actually, okay. So here, if it contains key, yeah, it does contain. And then we got to get the frequency, which is 1 greater than 0. And then the result here will pop. First of all, we'll pop the 9. And then we will update the frequency, which is 0. OK, so we have 4. Do the same thing. We're going to attach it to 4. And then we have 8. Nothing. Skip. Because it doesn't even contain. It's not even contained in the map. Now, we have 9 again. But 9 at this time is greater, it's equal to 0, so we don't want it. We we'll skip it again, see another 4. Okay, that's perfect because, well, actually, the first 4 we just forgot to update it. So now 4, we see a 4, okay, now it's equal to 0, we don't want it. Now, 9, 4, is the result the same? No, nope. the order doesn't matter, so it's fine. Okay, let's see, let's run, let's run the code. Okay, perfect. Um, I guess it's uh, we it's safe to submit. This one is fast one. Accept it. Perfect. Okay, so uh, it wasn't a very hard question. Let's see how much time we have left. Uh, we have we used forty minutes, um, including explanation or whatever thought thought process. Um, it's not a very hard. So whenever you see a, a frequency, try to see, try to find out a frequency or matching in between two arrays, then you should immediately think of hash map. All right. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more coding challenge from that website. And uh, I'll see you next time. Happy coding.